Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. In this series, we are talking about the very useful add-on of ours WooCommerce page listing. Previously, we showed you how to install and activate the add-on, and I gave you a little bit feature overview. Today, we're gonna take a look at how we can add price packages for event listing. Suppose you are building a website that's a marketplace for event listing that lets user add or list events but you don't want to let users list or post events for absolutely free as well right so this add-on what it will do it will help you to create paid packages and free packages for your users using which they can list events on your website and you can even manage those packages and what features they will receive per package as well right? we will talk more about those in our upcoming videos but as of today let's add some price packages so to add a price package we need to go inside products that's woocommerce product section from there we can click on add new so this is the woocommerce product submission page from here we can enter all the required data so we can enter a product name so that will be our package name let's say premium package we can enter a description here to describe our package what benefit it has what feature it has so something like that and let me go ahead and enter a demo description as of now so then into the product data section we have few fields to configure do play a little attention over here you will see the product data we have a drop down over here containing multiple options so at the bottom we will see the event package option right we're gonna select that and it will change the interface according to event package data so now we can configure this product as a event package right so we have our sales price and the regular price so this is pretty much the standard woocommerce feature we can set a base price for this product over here let's say 200 right we can even enter a sale price in this section to enter a sale price for the price package we will talk more about that in a second let's configure the rest of the settings we have over here so we have the event listing limit we have unlimited by default we have our event listing duration we can type a numerical value over here so that will be if i type like five so that will be the listing duration of five days by default right but as a default value it's always 30 days so that's one month then we have the featured listing as it's pretty much self-explanatory whatever events is placed or created under this package will be featured if we check this on so now coming back to the sale price we can use the scheduler to schedule a sale price for this package as well let's say uh, 150 is the sale price we are not scheduling this is standard woocommerce feature we can use it but as of now let's set it to 150 and then we can publish this product and now we have to go to our front end side to experience the package right so from here we can go to our event dashboard and then click on add event we will see our standard event submission form so now let me show you a little trick let me fill out these event details as quickly as possible So as I have filled all the details required for this event, now we can hit preview. We will be able to see our preview page for our event. But instead of submit event, we can see a choose package instead. So that's not traditional, is it? So if we click over here, we will see we will see a page where we can select the package we want to purchase or the user has to purchase to submit this event, right? So this is the premium package or the paid package we have added for this demonstration. We can add a free package to allow user post the event for free. But as we added the paid package, now user has to purchase this package first, then proceed with this event submission flow, right? This flow can be modified. I'll show you how in a moment, please allow me. But before that, let's talk about the sales price we talked about when we are adding the sale price over here at the woocommerce submission page so the regular price is 200 right but the sale price is 150 so we see the 200 at above that's our regular price but the sale price is highlight we can modify this flow this event submission flow uh, from our settings how we can do that 
let's open the dashboard in a new tab and we will go to our event manager to our settings from here we will switch to our event submission tab so don't really worry about these settings over here uh, as of now we will have a dedicated video about these settings and how they reflect in the front end and but as of now let's go to the paid listing flow in here we will see define when the user should choose a package for submission right by default it's choose a package after entering event details so that's exactly what we did here we entered the event details then we are choosing the package right but if we set this to choose a package before entering the event details and save changes so if we navigate to our event submission page in a new tab we will see instead of the event submission form we have this uh, purchase package or choose package page right so basic difference between these two options are we can choose the package after entering the event details or before it right so to go ahead with the flow we can uh, we can select this package and click on submit it will take us to the checkout page of WooCommerce in where we have to add our billing details and the payment method then we can click on place order so that will automatically buy the event listing package for us and even post the event so the event listing we have added the details for has been submitted but we can't see it on the event dashboard why because of the moderation we can go to our all event session in the back end side so if we look closely we have a pending payment tab over here if we switch back here we will see the paid event we have just added from the front end side using WooCommerce paid listing add-on is showed up over here right because I selected the direct bank transfer WooCommerce cannot verify direct bank transfer automatically otherwise this event over here would be shifted over to all and will be waiting for moderation right but since we couldn't really verify the payment using direct bank transfer so it's shifted over to pending payment so from here admin or the website maintainer can verify the payment with their bank and approve this event manually so if we do that we can click on approve events click on apply then we can come to our event dashboard we will see the paid event is being showed up over here at our event dashboard isn't that amazing right WooCommerce working with our event manager add-on to provide a full featured marketplace feature for event listing websites. I hope this video cleared out some of the confusions you had after the introduction to our WooCommerce paid listing add-on. And being that said, that's pretty much end of this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, a sub to the channel would be amazing. Being that said, I'm Sharad signing off. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.